Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. Today's episode, Why I Love the 1990s. Now, I was born in 1985, so I'm a 90s kid, late 80s, and I absolutely love everything about the 80s and the 90s, from the TV shows, to the music, to just everything. The styles, the fashion, it's just fantastic. Now, everybody remembers, especially from my generation, you remember this. You remember Guess Who? This is a fantastic game. Um, I believe this came out in the 90s, I'm pretty sure. But it was, it was a lot of fun. Another little interesting thing. Now, this may look just like a basketball to you. This is the Final Four in Charlotte, North Carolina, 1994. Pizza Hut basketball. Yes, Pizza Hut used to give out basketballs. I believe it was like get a large pizza, breadsticks, and then give you a basketball. Uh, Excuse me. I got a couple of these. Uh, <laughs> my family always makes fun of me because, I, oddly enough, I never took them outside and played with them. They're like in mint condition from the day I got them. It, you know, it's, there's no cracks or anything in it. I mean, it's, they're just as new as the day I got them. Sorry about that. My, my dog's barking at a siren. Zowie, stop. No, you stop it. Anyways, um, I absolutely love the, the 80s and 90s. The uh, movies such as, you know, Back to the Future, uh, Top Gun. There's just so many really good movies. Um, the Mask with Jim Carrey. Uh, I absolutely love that movie when I was younger. Uh, Little Giants. There's so many things about the 1990s that I just... I absolutely miss a lot. Uh, big nostalgia overload, of course. Um, I remember, uh, so we didn't have the internet. I mean, we kind of did, not till about 95. We had AOL, you know, the uh, dial-up internet. But we, we didn't get on the computer. We didn't have cell phones. We had Game Boys, and we played outside. I know that makes me sound really old, but that's what we did. We played on slip and slides. We played out in the pool, um, played baseball with our friends, stuff like that. I mean, yeah, we did watch cartoons. I watched cartoons like Pee Wee's Playhouse, Power Rangers, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, um, shows on Nickelodeon, which, if you've been paying attention, a new network is coming out called Splat, and Nickelodeon is putting all the old shows, like Salute Your Shorts, and Doug, and Ren and Stimpy, and Rugrats, um... Pete and Pete, all those wonderful 1990s Nickelodeon shows that we've been wanting forever. Because believe it or not, we're getting old. I'm 30 years old. Yeah, our generation is getting old as crap. <laughs> it, it really makes you think of uh, the simpler days of, you know, in the summertime, sitting on the couch uh, after you got done playing outside. And, you know, you go on and you watch, you know, Doug or something on... on uh, Nickelodeon, Hey Arnold, stuff like that, you know. But, uh, you know, I I love just going to thrift stores and garage sales and finding anything from my youth that I've either lost or got thrown away. It's always really cool to find. I found at a Goodwill a, an original slip and slide still in the box. Now, I didn't get it because what on earth am I going to do with it? But it was just a really cool item to come across after all these years that, you know, someone hadn't thrown away or it had, you know, got destroyed after, you know, playing so many times with it. But uh, I was watching a show the other day. It's called The Goldbergs. It's about a family in the 1980s. And it just... I remember in my house, we used to have a wood console TV. We we didn't have a 
uh, regular, you know, cordless telephone until later on, of course, but the 1990s uh, had a lot of crap, too. There was a lot of things that were just <sighs> parachute pants. <laughs> Those things crack me up every time I see a picture of them. Uh, Millie Vanilli, uh, MC Hammer was, you know, what would you say about him? Yeah, now he's uh, a preacher, and he does a lot of good for the, the community and the music world, stuff like that. Uh, Vanilla Ice, apparently, is a contractor. There's so many things that have changed. I, I don't know. I just don't really fit into this new social media, uh, Kim Kardashian crap. It just seems like everyone is so obsessed with, oh my gosh, uh, Kanye said this, or Kim said this. Uh, there's a new reality show coming out where people grow corn. It's called Reality Farmers or something. It's just, I don't know. It, I really miss being younger and being in the generation that I was in.